Lloyd Kaufman, the mastermind behind Troma Entertainment, is a legend in the world of independent and cult cinema. Known for his unique blend of over-the-top gore, absurd humor, and biting social commentary, Kaufman's films are the epitome of B-movie brilliance. Fans from Reddit, Quora, Tumblr, and YouTube have passionately debated his greatest works, and this countdown ranks 10 of his most iconic films, from 10, fun but flawed, to 1, the definitive Lloyd Kaufman masterpiece. 10, Tromeo and Juliet 1996. This outrageous reimagining of Shakespeare's classic play is filled with Kaufman's signature style, gratuitous violence, bizarre characters, and a twisted sense of humor. Fans on Tumblr praise its creativity and sheer audacity, though some feel it's not as polished as his other works. Still, its cult status is undeniable. It's Shakespeare like you've never seen before. Ridiculous, disgusting, and oddly brilliant. Tumblr user. 9. Terror Firmer, 1999. A meta-comedy about a blind director, played by Kaufman himself. Making a movie while a serial killer terrorizes the set, Terror Firmer is both a love letter to and a parody of low-budget filmmaking. Redditors love its self-aware humor and over-the-top gore, but note that its chaotic nature can be overwhelming. It's like Kaufman's manifesto for independent cinema. Messy, hilarious, and unrelenting, Reddit user. 8. Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD, 1990. This superhero spoof follows Harry Griswold, a bumbling cop who transforms into Kabuki Man, a kabuki-themed crime fighter. While less extreme than other trauma films, it's beloved for its campy charm and absurd premise. IMDB users often highlight its creative fight scenes and the memorable transformation sequences. Kabuki Man is Troma's most underrated hero. So weird, so fun, asterisk, IMDB reviewer. 7. Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead, 2006. This horror comedy musical about a fast food restaurant built on an ancient burial ground is Kaufman at his most absurd. Fans on YouTube love its catchy songs, ridiculous gore, and satirical critique of corporate greed. While not for the faint of heart, it's a standout in Kaufman's filmography. A musical about zombie chickens? Only Lloyd Kaufman could make this work. YouTube commenter. 6. The Toxic Avenger Part 2, 1989. The sequel to Kaufman's most famous film. This installment sees Toxie heading to Japan in search of his father. While not as universally praised as the original, fans on Reddit enjoy its outlandish humor and expanded lore. It's a solid follow-up that keeps the spirit of the franchise alive. It's goofy and over-the-top, but that's what makes it great. Reddit user. I am history. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 5. Class of Nuke M. High 1986. Set in a high school next to a nuclear power plant, this film combines teen drama, mutant creatures, and trauma's signature absurdity. Quora users highlight its satirical edge and creative special effects, calling it a quintessential trauma experience. Its mix of humor and horror makes it a cult favorite. It's like asterisk the breakfast club meets radioactive chaos. Quora user. 4. The Toxic Avenger Part 3. The Last Temptation of Toxie, 1989. The third installment in the Toxic Avenger series, this film explores Toxie's moral dilemmas as he battles corporate corruption. Fans on IMDb appreciate its deeper themes, though some feel it's a bit uneven compared to the first two films. Regardless, it's a fun and essential entry in the franchise. It's Toxie with a message and plenty of ridiculous action. IMDb Reviewer 3. Return to Nuke M. High Volume 1, 2013. This modern sequel to Class of Nuke, M. High brings Kaufman's chaos into the 21st century. Combining practical effects, outrageous humor, and sharp satire, it's a fan favorite on Reddit and YouTube. Many consider it a triumphant return to form for Kaufman and Troma. It's classic Troma with a modern twist. Absolutely insane in the best way. Reddit commenter. 2. Class of Nuke, M. High Part 2. Subhumanoid Meltdown 1991. 
The sequel to Class of Nuke, M, high ups the ante with even more mutants, mayhem, and Kaufman's signature absurdity. Fans on Quora adore its campy charm and creative creature designs, making it one of the most entertaining entries in the Troma universe. It's everything you love about Troma, louder, grosser, and crazier. Quora user. The Toxic Avenger, 1984. The undisputed king of Lloyd Kaufman's filmography, The Toxic Avenger is a cult classic that put Troma on the map. Telling the story of a nerdy janitor who becomes a mutated superhero, it's equal parts gory, hilarious, and heartfelt. Fans across all platforms agree that it's the ultimate trauma film, embodying everything that makes Kaufman's work so unique. This is the trauma movie. If you watch one Lloyd Kaufman film, make it the Toxic Avenger. IMDb reviewer. Conclusion. Lloyd Kaufman's films are not for everyone, but for fans of B-movies and boundary-pushing cinema, they're pure gold. His works are a celebration of creativity, individuality, and the joy of filmmaking without constraints. Whether you're new to Troma or a longtime fan, this countdown showcases the best of Kaufman's wild, weird, and wonderful world. Who's your daddy?